The Bounty Hunter Code? What's this? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it is May the 4th. Yes, it's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And I am starting off today's adventure at Grace Bridge Resale. So uh, the last couple of years they have had a Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you sale, 50% off sale. And it looks like they got a 50% off sale going on today. I can see the sign in the window. Check this out. Yep, 50% off sale today. So hopefully it's store wide because I am looking to get a few more Star Wars t-shirts. So I actually got this t-shirt at Grace Bridge like two years ago on May 4th. So I'm hoping maybe they have all their Star Wars attire out today. They have the last couple of years. Um, they even brought out toys that like they never normally have, like that are never out on the shelves. And I walked in and I was like, what are these Star Wars toys doing here? I was just here yesterday. I didn't see these things. So they must keep them in the back for this special occasion. But today we're going to Keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today or the Star Wars gods are good to me today and I can get maybe a couple of new t-shirts and who knows, maybe, just maybe, we can find some Star Wars toys. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this big old display. That is awesome. Oh look, they got all kinds of stuff over here today. So where is this stuff? during the regular part of the year that's what i want to know <laughs> oh that is cool oh look at this you even have like a star wars darth vader game controller or that's probably like a whole arcade system in there i'd imagine yeah jack specific that's cool oh look at this yoda but there's something wrong with his now it's like all ripped apart that sucks oh we got some disney infinity pieces over here that's a nice piece of uh a nice print i like that it looks like it's um oh yeah let's pull it out here yeah see it switches oh it's awesome and we got another print over here this one here is made out of wood 9.99 so we can get it for like five bucks today that's a cool little print huh what are these oh wow look at these simpsons what year was this made 2002 oh that is pretty cool i think we'll pick that up today oh we got this scrooge mcduck ducktales Oh, I gotta get that. That's cool too. What are they asking for? So I can get it for five dollars. That's probably a little overpriced, but it's still cool, and I'll grab it. Oh, look at the uh, the Darth Vader transformer. I was trying to see if he had a button or something I could push. He's still in the box. The bounty hunter code. What's this? What is this? Code. It's a book. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to see if that's worth anything. Well, I saw this thing is selling for like about 200 bucks. However, I think it might be missing some items. I'm not sure. I'm actually like looking through that now, kind of investigating. So I'll let you guys know at the end whether or not everything was here or not. It looks like there's stuff missing though. Unless there's something like under this compartment or something. We got some Wookiee slippers, some cookie cutters, trash cans. Here's a Funko. And what do we got 
here. We have a Star Wars Storytime tin. Let's open that up. comes with stickers but somebody already put the stickers in the book now we got a pokemon dragon mastery what year are these things from 2017 it says all right so it turns out they want 80 for this, but they'd actually take 40 for it because today it's 50% off. I'm gonna check on this thing. Okay, I think he's probably worth getting because, I mean, the box is a little banged up, but he sells for about 100, about 130 to 140 bucks. I can get him for 40, so yeah, let's pick him up today for sure. Oh, we got a Star Wars. Millennium Falcon, an Ertl. How old is this thing? Uh, it turns out it's from 2005. Let's open it up. Well, I think it's all here. <laughs> it's hard to say. These pieces are out of their plastic, so that's the only thing with these guys. These model kits, man, if they're open in any way, shape, or form, and you're missing one piece, it just, like, really devalues everything. I'll see how much it's worth. They want almost $80 for that, so again, you can get it for 40 bucks. Well, it turns out it's only selling for, like, 30, 40 bucks on eBay, so definitely overpriced, but these ones are not. So, this thing right here, uh... The bounty hunter code looks like it's got all the pieces to it so that's freaking awesome it's like a 200 dollars score and what's this little thing here lightsaber crystal growing lab oh, okay well, here's a set of uh star wars headphones and what do we got back here well, I just knocked a bunch of stuff over. <laughs> like, I put it back, but these are all like Star Wars Lego books and whatnot. Well, look at this blanket. Let's check that out. Uh, yeah. It's really soft, too. That's cool. Hey, check it out. It's Hendrix. I got the drop on him today. Little too late and a dollar too short, Hendrix. I got you. All right, guys, we didn't get a t-shirt, but we got a massive, massive haul. So I got all of this for $79, almost $80. And uh, three, four, there's probably $500 in resale value here. And uh, I think I might actually resell some of this stuff. Um, uh, the, the transformer and then also the Book of Boba Fett or the, the Bounty Hunter's Code. I'll probably, probably resell those. I gotta think about it. But um, man, what an awesome haul. And we got the drop on Hendrix today. It's even better. <laughs> Let's head off to another thrift store. I was trying to think what I was gonna do next. Let's head off to another thrift store and see what kind of goodies they got. I have no idea. Maybe we'll hit up the Goodwill across the street I was just there last night, they didn't have much, but uh, you know, it's always worth trying. And uh, still hunting for a Star Wars t-shirt. All right, my friends, we are here. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? You got any Star Wars t-shirts in there? Maybe some toys for your boy? Um, we will do a show and tell with all that back at the bunker at the end of this episode. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna see if we can score some more. See if we can score some more. <laughs> Well, let's see. What do we got? We got a Fisher Price boat. That thing looks a little older. Maybe from the 90s. That's kind of what I was thinking. Maybe earlier. Let's just see back here. Uh, uh, 19. Oh, 1980. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. 
And we got, what's this here? We got some race cars. And we got a bunch of little dinos. Well, it looks like we're down to one of these guys. There were three of them here at one point. Now there's just one. And then there was one. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a door, the Explorer, like checker table or something, or chess table. It's kind of beat though. All right, well, we just got busted at the Goody Wheel. But uh, we got a few other thrift stores we can head up, hit up. I have no agenda today, by the way, guys. I'm just kind of freestyling it right now, winging it. So uh, wherever I end up, I'll see you there. All right, my friends. We are here, Goody Wheel number two. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully, they got some goodies in there for me. Man, even with this new car, this rental, I'm forgetting my keys. <laughs> so I need to, I don't know, yeah, I'll figure it out. Actually, I probably won't. I've been forgetting my keys for years. Uh, all right, let's head in and see what we can find. All right, well, let's see what do they got on the shelf. Oh, we got Shotkins Air. Look at that. I don't know if Nicole owns that. She wouldn't want this one. But she'd want it to be all nice and pretty. Let's see what I got down here. We got a zebra. Well, I'm not seeing anything on these shelves. How about over here in Plushville? Look at this little clown. He's all dirtied up. He looks old, though. Zipper, tie, buckle, button, snap. Must teach. Must be to help teach kids how to zipper things and button things up and tie their shoes, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, it turns out he's from 1983, made by American Greetings, and he was made to help kids learn how to buckle things and tie things and button and zipper and snap and all that stuff like that. If he wasn't so dirty, I'd probably get him, but we'll leave him here for somebody else. Wait, 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 no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a speed racer? type of car it, it kind of looks like one right return to wonder is what the will says return to wonder well, i'm gonna look that up well it turns out it's made by fao schwarz it is vintage from what i can tell and uh it recently sold for 20 dollars just the car it doesn't have the remote control though so but i think i'm gonna leave it Check it out. We got a couple of Miami Vice Collector Edition VHS. Let's see, which one is this? The Collector's Edition, Cauldron's Return, and this one is Miami Vice the Movie. Oh, all right. Well, let's grab these two. That's awesome. All right, we got Miami Vice on VHS. One of them is called Calderon's Return. And the other is Miami Vice, the movie. So I know they came out with a recent, like, you know, remake of Miami Vice, the movie. But man, I got the original right here and it's still sealed. But I'll probably bust it open and watch it. <laughs> All right, up next, let's head off to Support Your Troops resale store. And we'll also hit up uh, St. Vinnie de Paul while we're at it. All right, we are at the Support Your Troops resale shop been having a little luck in here lately so hopefully that luck streak continues let's see if we can score any vintage toys out of here today oh. it's a little darth vader plushie what's this oh we got the tricks is that supposed to be a shopkin oh it's a funko oh, that's cool that might be a possibility, but look at this Barbie dollhouse. It's awesome. Caroline had one of those when she was little. Okay. Is that an American girl doll or is that like a little old vintage doll? I don't know. 
What do we got over here? look like old hats they could be new they just look older but well guys i think we're gonna get busted here today well we got busted in there too off to saint vinnie de paul all right saint vinnie's i feel like i haven't scored anything good out of here in a while so we'll get in here take a look around we'll probably finish up our adventure today at the thrift store which will be one more stop after this i don't think i'm going to check out craptastic sam's a lot of times i hit them because it hit that place because it's on this side of town but i need to get home i got some work to do <laughs> so let's hit st vinnie's up and see what we can find them here first well let's see what do we got what is this little place at oh this is from like uh monster monsters inc i think right Gotta miss is incredible. Oh yeah, I saw this here last time. A little cheapy thing. Well, that don't work either. This is... oh, looks like a big cargo plane. Anything over here in these bags? Shirt. Why ain't that fun? Hmm, I'm gonna put it on. I've actually, you know what? It's scrubs. They're not, uh, yeah, it's a you know, Peaches uniform. It's not a shirt. I mean, it is a shirt, but it's for scrubs, like in a hospital or a doctor's office or something. All right, guys, I did it. I don't ever have to work a day in my life ever again. I just found a long lost forgotten VHS on how ordinary people get rich. Look at these guys, look how rich they look. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be a millionaire. This is awesome. Uh, check these out. We got Fraggle Rock VHS tapes. That rocks. All right, yeah, we're definitely getting those. What else we got over here? We got the Marky Mark workout. <laughs> Halloween, Sam School, Thanksgiving, Christmas, November 1996. Hmm, all right, let's grab that. We'll check that out. What's this one here? Oh, Barney. The Jungle Book. Oh, we got Leprechaun 3. Let's grab that one. All right, we got a nice little VHS stat going over here. Nova Scotia. Dancing with the White Dog. What's this one here? What's this? Oh. Further. <laughs> Raffi. Amazing Miracles. What's that? All right, so we're gonna grab this stack of VHS. We got one, two, three, four Fraggle Rocks, Leprechaun 3, and we got this home video from 1996 that has Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and some other stuff on it. So we'll, we'll pop that in and take a look at it and see what's on there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go check out and uh, we're gonna head on over to the thrift store 
and we'll finish up over there today. All right, we're here at the thrift store. Now remember guys, guys and girls, we're gonna be doing a little show and tell here at the end of today's episode with the Star Wars stuff that I found. Take a little closer look at it, man. I'm pretty jazzed up over it because like, I think I can make some good money off of it. I think it, I'm still debating. I think it might be something I'm gonna sell. I think, you know me, I can change my mind on a whim, you know? All right, let's see what they got in here at the thrift store. Well, the glass case seems to have a lot of the same stuff that it's had for the last couple of months. <laughs> let's go check the baggy section. Oh, they look like they might've stocked up with some bags because there weren't as many bags here last time as there are today. Action figures in there. Hey, is that? Oh no, I think that's like a Barbie princess. I thought that was Princess Peach for a second. And what do we got here? This Superman. He's kind of neat. Not worth spending four bucks on the bag for though. Not that kind of neat. Look at this dyno. Oh, we got some die cast in here. Like construction cars. Are those actually, actually those are transformers. Hmm. Well, he's part of the Titan Rakers Hero Dinba. And uh, if I had him, if all of them were there, it's worth about 25 bucks, but he's not worth a whole lot just in this bag here by himself. And I don't even know if he's complete. It's hard to tell. And here's a bag of die casts. And a transformer. Hey, we found some more Star Wars, a little Darth Vader candy dispenser. Got some Everlast boxing gloves. Bernie Sanders, feel the burn. Oh man, just for a second, just for a second, I thought this was a vintage Jurassic Park T-Rex. He's kind of cool though. He's got like this lifelike skin on him. He looks a little older. But his uh, arms are all jacked up. Oh, I feel like his I feel like his arms are like way down here, and they kind of came out of their little sheath, his little you know his skin here, and they contracted all the way back here. That sucks. If he uh, were in a little better shape, I'd probably pick him up. Oh, awesome! We got some more Star Wars over here. Super cool, man. I think I have this guy already, though. Now look at this castle place set. Oh, ain't that awesome? They have like a dungeon in there and everything. Two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Hmm. I really don't have room for it, but man. It sure does look fun. All right, here's uh, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. This is the one that Chaz told me I should probably watch. He said I should watch like the first three, but he said this was probably the best one. My friend Keith also said this is a good one. So I think I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna try it guys. So we'll see. All right, I picked up Wrath of Khan. Now it's time to head back to the bunker and do a little show and tell with today's Star Wars haul. All right, guys, we're back at the house and I have my lovely assistant with me today, Nicole, my wife, my beautiful wife. She's gonna be doing some of her amazing videography as we do some <laughs> epic show and tell. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let me show you what I picked up today, baby. All right. I made us rich. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I made us rich today. 
All right, so check this out. So this is a Star Wars Transformers more than meets the eye. And that's pretty cool. I've never seen a Star Wars Transformer. Before. I know, right? Come on in here and get a closer look at them here. And uh, it says here, press button. I tried but I don't. Oh, there he goes. So he turns into the Death Star. The circle is now complete. Oh, the circle. It is now complete. Man, that kind of makes me not want to sell it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Let's flip the box around. Show it back here. So here he is. And then transforms into the Death Star. Now, one of the things I really like about this, by the way, this is from 2007. Uh, one of the things I really liked about this was, ch uh, zoom in here, check out these little figures down here. We got, mm -hmm. what, three stormtroopers and Vader himself. So a little miniature Vader. They're so tiny. I know. I thought they were pretty cool. Yeah, cool. So this thing right they here. They probably go inside the Yeah, that's what somewhere. I was thinking. They probably go inside the Death Star. Um, one of the things that. They're snacks. They're snacks. You're snacks for the, death, for the death <laughs> You're so demented <laughs> the way you think sometimes. Snacks! Do you scooby snacks? Snacks for that guy. <laughs> Darth Vader. Um, All right. But uh, yeah, so I ended up, uh, it was $80, but everything was half off today at Grace Bridge. So I got it for $40. And uh, it resells for like 130, 150 bucks, something yeah. like that. So I thought that was cool. That's I cool. also picked up this uh, 2002 Blocko figure set of The Simpsons. Nicole uh, just said to me, Nicole just said to me, she goes, oh, you should be able to sell that. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, I think I'm going to keep that one for myself. And I said, since when do we like The Simpsons? <laughs> since when do we collect Simpsons? <laughs> well, actually, I do have a Marge Simpson on my Yeah, you do shelf. have a Marge Simpson Because of you. Yeah, 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 exactly. See, I find them in thrift stores. All right, and, all right. So, but, uh, yeah, I thought yeah, they were kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, there. I I paid for it. I paid fifteen bucks for it. Um, it was thirty, but I got it for fifteen, and that's what it's worth. Mm -hmm. I saw them selling for fifteen dollars, but I was like, I want to get them and just keep them and hold on to them. So, mm -hmm. so I got that. Um, check out this awesome wall hanger. So it's made out of wood, and uh, I picked it up for five dollars. It's from Star Wars: A New Hope, which was the very first Star Wars. First brought to theaters in 1977, so I thought uh, that would look good on the wall with some of my Star Wars stuff. It's got all the characters that, you know, I grew up with. I'm not real big into the new Star Wars. I like that original trilogy stuff. Now, the, uh, the big score of the day was uh, from Grace Bridge. Well, just the big score in general. Probably the biggest score of the year so far. Oh. So, is this... Um, the Bounty Hunter Code, uh, Boba Fett book, something. I don't know. It, it's pretty. The box that came so there's the box it came in. Yeah, nice Is it box. Upside down or nah, see how like see how it's uh, oh, here. Okay. So. so yeah, at first I was like, well, maybe he's supposed to be like a devil with horns or oh. something like that. But yeah, it is an interesting. Yeah, I wonder what it means. Mm -hmm. Something dark probably. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how this thing works. So first of all, let's just kind of take a look at some of the accessories that came with it. Okay. Um, we got this wanted poster. They're asking 250,000 Imperial bucks <laughs> for Han Solo and only 50 for Chewie. It says 50,000 reward to be paid for the capture of a firm death or a firm death of Chewbacca, the Wookiee associate of Han Solo. It's Imperial Majesty Emperor Palpatine, 250,000 reward paid for the capture or positive proof of death of Han Solo, Corleone smuggler, smuggler and seditionist. The species human, male, I don't know, like it's, you know, weight. That's all in stuff. Yeah, <laughs> metrics or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, so anyway, we got this wanted poster, right. which I thought was pretty cool. Imperial Space Ministry Bureau of Ships and Services, arms load out permit. So this is a permit. I guess, to, to, I guess to carry a weapon, maybe? Arms load, out permit. 
Uh, let's see, is there anything? Nope, mm -hmm. nothing on the back. This is from 2013, by the way. Okay. So we got that. And then we got the Imperial Space Ministry Bureau of Ships and Services, Captain's Accredited License. So I guess this is his license to fly his ship. Who would think that like outlaws and stuff like that or bounty hunters still need to have a, a license? To, I know. Like, well, yeah. What do they care about? Yeah. Legalities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Imperial Space Ministry Bureau of Ships and Services, Ships Operating License. So we've got that as well. Flight Altitude dock altitude all right anything yeah. on the back here no all right so now check this out this is probably one of the coolest parts of it so we're going to go ahead uh first of all if we flip it around right here we have this little data card on the back so we're going to snap that out all right we're going to need that in just a moment very cool all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to press these two little buttons on the side so if you want to kind of zoom in there no 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 up here okay well i just want to show the buttons yeah yeah just right there Let me watch data card oh, hold on. Got it. there we go uh, so cool. yeah, we'll get to take a little peek at what's inside the anticipation is killing me yeah. this bus is still be making no, I don't think I think it just does those initial noises and then it just slowly opens. So look at that. Inside we have a book of the bounty hunter's code. So we go ahead and pull this guy out. We'll bring him over here. We'll just take a little All these papers were inside the book, right? Yeah, all of these papers that we were on the table that we just looked at were actually inside this book. It actually has like some writing and stuff like that. It's, it's printed on there. Yeah, like, like somebody is yeah, their little log book or no stuff. It's cool. It's got yeah. cool art in it. It does have some cool art in it. So we got that. Let's dive in deep. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have this uh, making a killing. It says, uh, Django and I had other encounters, including the time he met my son, Bosk. If you've seen any Holovids of the Bounty Hunters Guild's greatest hits. Bosk was Boba Fett, so that's Bosk right there. Mm, that's Boba Fett's son? I don't know. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> mm. What's that right here? First Guild contract. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in here. Look at oh. this. So we got this, uh, this What's little book right here. What's that language? What's this? This. I don't know. This stuff here. I don't know. It looks like Russian to me. Mm. So, but uh, yeah. What's yeah. this on the inside? Oh, it's an incident report on here. Let's see. Sea uh, Starship Slave One Operator Boba Fett located in geosynchronous Tatooine orbit among items found in cockpit with strong box blast proof disarmed. In return, saying the GCSF, where its contents were examined prior to archiving Starship Toad to impound lot GRA 909. Yeah. And what's this thing? I don't know what this is, actually. Okay. Doesn't trigger any other hidden. There was nothing in the instructions. Okay. <gasps> you read the instructions? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're the same, buddy. <laughs> All right, so. Okay. Do anything on the log it real quick. No. All right, so. That was very cool. We picked up that stuff, and then we also got this awesome VHS haul. So we ended up getting Leprechaun 3. We got four different Fraggle Rock VHS tapes with I think a couple of episodes each on them, maybe two or three. We got, uh, you know, like I said in the store, 
Chaz and Keith said, try Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Said it was probably the best one of the original Star Trek trilogy series, whatever that came out. So I figured, you know what? I'll give it a go. We'll see what happens with it. So we got that. And then we got some Miami Vice. And in one of these, let's see which one is it? Oh yeah, it's Miami Vice, the movie. So it's actually a 90 minute, I think this was the pilot. It was a 90 minute episode. So uh, we got all of that in addition to the epic Star Wars haul. All right, gang, this May 4th was epic, epic. So this, so this uh, Bounty Hunters code book, by the way, is selling for like close to $300 on eBay. I can't believe it. There's not, really not much to it. It's like a couple of books and some pieces of paper. You know, of course, the little vault like opens up and makes noises and lights up and stuff like that. But I wouldn't think something like that would be worth that much money. But hey, it is. And I'm excited and super jazzed up about it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. May the fourth be with you.